Currently in Tunisia, for a four days training camp, the Uganda Cranes will open up their 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Algeria this Saturday in Algiers. Uganda last played at the Continental Showpiece in 2019 as they missed out the 2021 edition in Cameroon earlier this year. Queen's coach Milton Mitchell Srodovic, who delivered Uganda back to the Africa Cup of Nations in 2017 after 39 years, says 10 points in this campaign is all they need to make the finals. Uh, I strongly believe that every single Ugandan expects him to go to the Africa Cup of Nations and our ultimate target is to get more than 10 points that will guarantee us that we shall uh, qualify to the Africa Cup of Nations. In this uh, bracket of two matches against Algeria away and Nigeria at home, we are planning to have three plus points. Despite a few injury setbacks to Isaac Mreme and Shaban Muhammad, Mitchell is impressed with the preparation so far ahead of the Algeria tie. I was happy the way boys have applied themselves on the field. Especially, uh, I was happy with the fact that uh, our uh, transformation from moment of ball losing up to reaching the opening box was really encouraging and showing us that we could play uh, iron defense and, and creative build up reaching opening goal. Defender Bevis Mugabe played at the finals in Egypt and he has made it clear he wants to play at another Africa Cup of Nations tournament. Us qualifying for AFCON. Ultimately, that's the target. I don't think any players come here to just be passengers and not compete. And um, for me personally, I want to play in another African Cup of Nations. So um, I think the squad will be ready and we'll be trying our hardest to make that um, happen. Mugabe says the team is upbeat ahead of their opener against Algeria on Saturday. I think so. I feel like everyone in the squad has good experience against playing against these type of players. And um, I think we'll be more than ready to go into Saturday's game and compete. Uganda is in Group F along with Algeria, Niger and neighbors Tanzania and the top two teams will qualify for the finals in Ivory Coast next year. Saikasin Sekalara, CTV PM Edition.